One of the most active and fascinating AI fields in 2021 has been text-to-image creation. DAL-E, a 12 billion parameter version of OpenAI's GPT-3 transformer language model meant to produce photorealistic pictures using text captions as cues, was released in January 2021. DAL Remarkable E's performance was an instant hit in the artificial intelligence industry, and it also received extensive mainstream media coverage. NVIDIA launched the GAN-based GAOGAN 2 last month, which improved tenfold over its predecessor in terms of producing previously thought impossible visuals from text prompts. Not to be outdone, OpenAI researchers introduced Glide this week, a diffusion model that delivers performance that entirely outperforms their prior models and those disclosed by NVIDIA while utilizing less than one-third of the parameters and being more efficient in general. This brings me to today's sponsor, Skillshare, which couldn't be more of a perfect partnership due to its beginner-friendly artificial intelligence classes. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for aspiring developers and creatives. Explore new skills and deepen existing passions. AI models such as OpenAI's Glide can be used by anyone with a little experience in machine learning which is one of the many topics on Skillshare along with web development, search engine optimization, entrepreneurship and more. My personal favorite class and the one I recommend for making use of this video's topic is the Artificial Intelligence for Beginners, Tools to Learn Machine Learning class by Alvin Wan which tells you everything you need to know about creating and then optimizing your models by understanding the importance of model complexity. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Skillshare's entire catalog of classes now offers subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese and German. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Whether you're a dabbler or a pro, a hobbyist or a master, you're creative. Discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you the amazing works of art and actually creative images which OpenAI's new image model managed to create, how it works behind the scenes, where you can start using it on your own, and finally, what this means for models which are going to be released throughout this year. While most images can be described in words, creating images from text inputs necessitates specialized knowledge and a significant amount of time. Allowing an AI agent to produce photorealistic pictures from natural language prompts not only allows people to create rich and diverse visual material with unprecedented ease, but it also allows for simpler iterative refinement and fine-grained control of the images created. Recent research has demonstrated that likelihood-based diffusion models may also produce high-quality synthetic pictures, particularly when combined with a guiding approach that balances variety and fidelity. OpenAI published a guided diffusion model in May, which allows diffusion models to be conditional on the labels of a classifier. Glide advances this work by bringing guided diffusion to the problem of text conditional image generation. The researchers investigated two distinct guiding strategies, clip guidance and classifier free guidance, after training a 3.5 billion parameter Glide diffusion model that employs a text encoder to condition on natural language descriptions. Clip is a scalable method for learning joint representations of text and pictures that generates a score that indicates how near an image is to a caption. The researchers used this strategy to replace classifiers in their diffusion models with a clip model that leads the models. Meanwhile, classifier-free guidance is a diffusion model guidance strategy that does not require the training of a separate classifier. It has two enticing features. 1. Allowing a single model to use its own knowledge during guidance rather than depending on the expertise of several categorization models. 2. Simplifying guidance when conditioning on difficult-to-predict information. Human assessors preferred classifier-free guiding picture outputs for both photorealism and caption similarity, according to the study. Glide delivered high-resolution photos with realistic shadows, reflections, and textures in testing. The model may also mix numerous ideas, for example, corgis, bow ties, and party hats, while assigning properties to these items such as colors. 
Glide may be used to change existing pictures using natural language text prompts, in addition to producing images from text. This includes inserting new objects, adding shadows and reflections, conducting image inpainting, and so on. Simple line sketches may also be turned into photorealistic pictures, and GLIDE's zero sample production and repair capabilities for complicated scenarios are impressive. Even though it is a considerably smaller model, 3.5 billion versus 12 billion parameters, needs less sampling delay, and does not require clip reordering, human assessors favored GLIDE's output pictures to doll ease. In addition to inpainting, the diffusion model may create its own drawings in a variety of styles, such as Van Gogh's style or the style of a certain painting. Glide may also create notions on a corgi, such as a bow tie and a birthday hat, while also assigning properties to these items, such as color and size. With a single word command, users may easily make convincing modifications to existing photos. If you've been on Twitter recently, you've definitely noticed a slew of AI-generated photos strewn across your feed like strange, algorithmic visions. These images were created with Dream, a new software that allows anybody to make AI-powered paintings by simply giving a brief description of what they wish to see. It's strange, often unsettling material that's nevertheless a lot of fun. The final artwork has its own distinct aesthetic, which is characterized by whirling forms and jumbled things. The true brilliance though, is that no matter what you input, the software will produce something visually appealing, at least until we become too accustomed to these toys, and that matches your prompt in a surprising number of ways. Consider the picture below, which is titled, Galactic Archaeology with Metal Poor Stars. Not only has the app generated an image that represents a nebula's mind-boggling cosmic size, but the star-like highlights strewn around the cosmos are primarily blue, a color that is scientifically true for metal-poor stars since metallicity impacts their color. More examples may be found by doing a simple search on Twitter, but you should really play around with the app to have a better understanding of it. At the very least, the photos it makes are the perfect size for creating a custom phone background. Dream's accessibility means it's being put to new applications as well. It's been used for both more directed projects and viral games, such entering your PhD thesis title and sharing the result. T. Kingfisher, a writer and illustrator who publishes by the name Ursula Vernon, revealed a short comic they'd created using Dream in one spectacular Twitter thread. The comic's characters are hand-drawn, while the backdrops are AI-generated, with the bizarre, changing aspect of the graphics explained by the setting, an Egyptian god of writing, Thoth, overseeing a dream library. Despite its evident flaws, Dream gives us a peek of what synthetic or AI-generated media could look like in the future. For advocates in this field, the technology's promise is one of unlimited variation. Games, comics, films, and novels, they claim, will all be created on the fly in response to our every command and desire in the future. And, while we're still a long way from such media matching the quality of human production, restricted hybrid applications will arrive sooner than you think, arriving as if out of a dream. In the image synthesis industry, 2021 has been a year of remarkable success and a frenetic pace of publishing with a flood of new breakthroughs and advances in systems capable of mimicking human personalities through neural rendering, deepfakes, and a variety of creative techniques. However, German researchers now believe that the criterion used to automatically assess the realism of synthetic pictures is terminally defective, and that the hundreds, if not thousands, of researchers who rely on it to save money on expensive human-based results evaluation may be on the wrong track. The researchers used their own GANs that were tuned for FID to show how the standard, fresh A inception distance, FID, does not measure up to human standards for judging pictures. They discovered that FID has its own obsessions, which are based on underlying code that has nothing to do with image synthesis, and that it consistently fails to meet a human criterion of discernment. In addition to claiming that FID is unfit for its original purpose, the article claims that obvious solutions such as replacing its internal engine with a rival engine, will just exchange one set of biases for another. According to the authors, new research projects are needed to establish better measures for assessing authenticity in synthetically generated photographs. Glide isn't ideal, of course. Although the instances given above are success stories, the research had its share of setbacks. Certain questions, such as asking a car with triangular wheels, will not provide pleasing visuals. Because diffusion models are only as good as the training data, 
Imagination remains firmly in the human realm, at least for the time being. The team recognizes that their methodology might make it simpler for bad people to spread false information or deepfakes. They only published a smaller diffusion model and a noised clip model trained on filtered datasets to protect against such usage situations. These models' code and weights are accessible on the project's GitHub page. So, what is your opinion on what I would call the biggest and most revolutionary artificial intelligence software released in 2021? Do you see any use for it personally or do you think that there's still a long way to go until image generators like this are actually usable in a professional setting? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.